Hey what's going on guys, hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another topic. Alright, so this topic is a lot different than you find on my entire, all the videos. This video looks a lot different. So this is an e-commerce project, right? So the concept remains the same the, that I first want to show you the demo of this whole project. And the good thing is that this is absolutely free for all of you, right? So the code is given in the description and you can easily download it and you can use and feel free to use in your in your any product you can change the images put your own images and try to upload your on the website and create your own website make your e-commerce store and this has been absolutely free right so just jump into the uh, to the demo first so we have the login page and the sign up on the top we have some numbers as well we have the email as well and uh, a lot of other stuff so you can easily this is the Kenyan basically this is a water company of my own and uh, I have made something more better <laughs> for my site which I won't give you uh, which I will give you guys uh, as well in the later period of time but for now this site was old and um, uh, because I have worked uh, on some of the frame framework so the reason why I shifted it so I want to give you my own website this is the company of my own right Kenyan you see here which is my water mineral company so we have a login and a sign up right so I want to give up the uh, name my name uh, Abdullah Musa for now I want to give my cell number to be uh, one two three four five six because the login is through the contact number right I want to give it me a uh, address for let's suppose uh, Bahria down right and the referral name let's suppose Hasib I want to give up I just sign up here and if I just try to sign up with the same name, it gives me an error, right? I cannot use the same contact number. You guys can see it again, right? So if I just want to have, have here one, two, three, four, five, six, referral name, sign up, it gives me that registration number already exists, even though it's good to have your phone number already exists, right? So I want to log in up with my contact number, which is one, two, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a very nice looking page, which I really love to have. So now you can see we have the logout button where we can log out have we have the checking history we have the name as well on the top we have some links here and down this is the main story right so you can have the images that you want to have I have a water company so I just give it the uh, the the nice looking um, image we have the the price we have the uh, the name the title and the quantity that we can add up here so let's suppose if I want to have my quantity to be two and place the order you see now we have added up the card the image the details the price and the quantity and the total price right so if I go back to the continue shopping I want to purchase one more and you see we have now total is 305 of course if you add these two so it gives you 305 we can also remove the product so if I just click on the delete button it removes the product and simply if I just have to confirm my order so this will successfully place my order right so that's very much simple so if I go back and check my history you see that we have a uh, quantity of two we have the rate 90 we have the total amount 180 and the order status is pending because that will be um, the status will be updated from the admin side which I want to give you in the second video right so we also have a nice looking that if I want to see that which month and which year that I have um, I want to search I want to filter my result on based of that so that's how you, you can easily grab that so if I just try to pick up any random from this to this because I use between so you see that we don't have we, we, we don't have any result from that so that's how you can filter the history as well we have the name on the top as well so that's a very simple and basic flow so the entire code is written in a very good form because uh, I also provided the database as well so you can also grab the if I go to the index.php you see we have a lot of HTML and a lot of PHP code right so that's what we have done and that's all created by core PHP I hope you guys will enjoy and if you have any issues regarding to that, you can feel free to comment me 
or you can also uh, like on my Facebook page which is Aviation Programmers or you can subscribe my channel for more interesting videos which will be absolutely free so please keep subscribing my YouTube channel and I want to see you in the next part and inshallah for the next time right thank you so much for watching this video